Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I am back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and as promised last week, we're going to be using some brand new texture pack add-ons that I've added to my game files here. Today we're going to be using Horn Company, which are these dope green, yellow clone troopers here. There's many variations to them, as you can see. Um, and we'll see a lot of them during the battle. But the two leaders I just want to go over real quick are we have um, Agent Kolar is the Jedi here. Who's a pretty cool looking Jedi. I think I, I like his um, facial details. I think he's pretty cool looking. Uh, and then we have Commander or Captain. Which is it? Uh, Captain, sorry. Captain Locke. Locke. Um, L-O-C-K. Who is right here. Actually, I believe that's him, right? Yeah, it's this guy who... Yes, it is him. Uh, so this is Captain Locke right here. And these guys are basically going to be defending this bunker on this tropical island um, situation here. It's um, actually the Scarif map. Um, so I guess it could be Scarif during the Clone Wars. And Horn Company is tasked with defending this bunker at the very end of Scarif here. They've got um, Horn Company troopers all over the place uh, in this initial defense of the bunker over here where the actual battle is going to start is way out here though on these other alternative platforms where the clones are also going to be defending from against an onslaught of battle droids that are going to be coming forward and attacking their positions the clones uh, span out mainly in a straight line down here but they also have some troopers off to the sides here and over here that are going to be able to fire down at the droids um, and they've also got a few troopers, you know, in the jungles and stuff like this uh, that are going to be able to ambush the droids as they come forward that way. But the final stand, if the droids do make it this far, is going to be this last bunker where uh, Captain Locke and, uh, and Agen are going to be waiting for them to, uh, to challenge them. I don't know. All right. Either way, guys, we're going to get right on into it. I'll be right back and we'll get this started. Alrighty then, you bad Larrys. I think we're ready to get this shindig started. Let's go ahead and press start right now. And the battle droids begin to walk forward. The clones firing almost immediately to meet them. And uh, I don't know about these early defenses here. I think the clones, um, they're going up against the largest force of battle droids, obviously, at this very beginning bit. And we're already starting to see clones dropping quite fast and they're not getting too much fire out at these battle droids. I am seeing a few kills on the battle droids here and there, but overall the clones are getting rather creamed out here. They're uh they're uh that I'm trying to make a creamed corn joke, but I, it just didn't come together in my mind. Probably for the best that I didn't complete that thought. Um, but yeah, these clones are getting destroyed out here. I think the real defense of the clone troopers is going to be back in the very outside of that um, bunker over there. And uh, these guys are just here to soften up the battle droid advance just a little bit. And then once the droids finally make it to the end, they'll they'll be much, much weaker, and those clones will have a much easier time uh, at killing them. Either way, the droids are plowing on through here. We're seeing a small defense getting put up over here at this little, um, like a helipad kind of a thing. But in the Star Wars universe, I guess they might land some LAATs um, under this thing. And then it like it looks like it's got a rope up there. So maybe it, it, it's for repairing the underbelly of LAATs. Not totally sure what the use of this thing is. But why is there an ATAT -AT here? Go away. Be gone. <laughs> I don't know actually why that's there. Um, so we're seeing a slight defense up here, but it's pretty futile. Uh, it's really just sort of slowing the droids down. And the actually, the main um, clone trooper defense out here is beginning to come into play in this battle. We're seeing a little bit of firing going on. We're actually seeing trees getting downed in the distance because of the fire out here. We also have a Mark IV turret repeater out here on the battlefield that Horn Company has deployed. Um, we also have a number of these chain gunners on the field. This guy seems to... Is he actually able to shoot over this thing? No, he's not. Okay, I'd like to move him because... Um, I was wondering about that because the gun is like it rests at his hips when he's standing up so he's not actually able to lift it over these bars so I'm gonna just tuck him right there so he's actually gonna be able to use the weapon when the droids come a little bit closer and that way we can actually see that chain gun in action 
uh, but the very outskirts of the clone defense in here are getting chopped down by the droids from a distance, um, but there's still many lines of clones out there. We can see there's actually a few um, clone trooper technicians out here with their DC-17 pistols. It looks like everyone has been called into combat for the Republic at the moment, um, really sparing no one from the heat of battle because uh, well, they need everyone they've got and, and it's pretty understandable when you have to mobilize everyone and I'm sure the technicians are are ready and equipped with some combat training at the very least to get a bit more involved in this battle and I'm sure they're proud to help out as well I mean, they're clones for goodness sake all right so the clones over here next to these LAAT pads over over this way and that uh, ghost ATAT. -AT. You, you didn't really see an ATAT. -AT. It was all an illusion. Um, these guys are actually firing across the woods here and targeting some of the battle droids that are coming through the woods. So that's actually kind of nice. It's creating a nice two front defense for the clones that the droids have to attack. So that could uh, certainly help them out. And we're actually seeing some deaths from the droids within the woods out here. Um, and the droids, actually quite a number of deaths out here as well. Seems like the droids are being slowed down in their advance a little bit. They still have a, a plethora of troopers. I mean, look at all these these guys out here. But the clones are starting to get many, many more kills on them, and uh, it's definitely helping their cause quite a bit. So if the clones can keep up this amount of fire and Horn Company can hold out the best they can, uh, then we could see a clone victory here. Not to mention the bunker itself, if the droids ever actually get into it, that's going to be a tough position to attack. It's very clustered together, good choke points, good all that stuff, so um, that'll be a tough, tough position to take. Actually, we're seeing many, many of the clones out here starting to really, really go down. The very outside bunker defenses over this way are still holding out, but these guys in the middle batch over here are, are kind of starting to go down a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're still seeing good fighting, though. They're not giving up yet. These guys got some heart in them. Actually, I feel like we've seen... Is Horn Company from the Clone Wars? I know I've seen the Jedi. I don't know if I've seen the, um, the army, the armor on this, um, on these guys in the Clone Wars series. If you guys can let me know in the comment section below which, um, which episodes of the Clone Wars these guys are from, I'd love to know, because... Um, they're really cool looking. I, I do dig them quite a bit. I think they're pretty neat. All right, we are seeing some more firing from these clones. I like these weapons. I think that's an arc trooper, um, and he's utilizing an arc trooper weapon variant. Actually, I think that's a specific arc trooper weapon right there. But pretty cool. I'm digging it. Uh, these clone technicians out here are still alive and are still kicking. Holy cow. I guess the droids, they're not really high value targets because they're not really firing at the droids. So the droids don't really think like, oh, these guys are an enemy we need to eliminate real quick. So they're sort of keeping them alive and instead firing at the guys further back who are actually firing at the battle droids. And there's still quite a number of troopers out here. Actually, one of the clone troopers, two of the clone troopers, any more? Two of the clone troopers within the bunker have actually already died. These guys, albeit, were on the very outside defenses, but uh, kind of interesting. The droids already starting to have a bit of an impact on the bunker. But we're seeing droid numbers beginning to go down quite a bit. They don't have what they started out with nearly um, as many droids, so the clones could definitely have this. Also, still quite a number of troopers alive up here, and a few over here too, so um, clones still putting up a good fight every which way, which is very nice to see. Good job, guys. And these guys over here still holding these forest droids over here at bay, still getting kills as the uh, the droids begin to round a huff up over this little mountain area. God, these clones are an impressive, impressive batch. Horn Company really killing it, killing the game. I'm actually very surprised these guys are alive. As I say that, one of them dies. This is the curse of daily tactics. Always you know, applauding the clones, and then they die as soon as I say something. I should just keep my mouth shut, really. It's the point of talking. Oh, is this chain gunner over here gone? Oh, he died. Looks like he might have actually gotten a couple kills over here, but he did end up dying. That's rough. All right. Actually, the droid, droid assault really slimming down. Seems like a lot of them are getting committed to this uh, forest batch over here. In fact, one trooper made it all the way through the forest and is attacking... He just went down, though. He's behind that palm tree. He got nice up close and personal. All right, so the, the clones have certainly evened things out, and it's um, becoming a lot more 
gorilla fighting in the forest for the battle droids, which I'm sure they're not too happy about. Um, considering they don't know the terrain very well, gorilla fighting is not a great tactic here. You have to really know your territory to do that. Not to mention, you kind of have to be on the defensive type of a thing in order to do guerrilla warfare, wouldn't you? Because you have to know the territory, you have to do sort of hit and run tactics. This is just a major assault, so really going through a woods here, I mean, it does offer them some nice cover, but um, it's just a lot of confusion going on, and the clones are just sort of able to fire in mass through the woods, so I, I imagine this isn't the best of... of situations for the battle droids to be in and uh, we're actually seeing a lot less clones dying now they're they're holding out quite nicely so I would say this is definitely not the um, not the optimal situation for the battle droids at the moment but the clones hold out for sure and uh, and they'll continue to until the last of these droids are dead or the last of the clones die that's the nice thing about the clone army is I don't think they surrendered very often, do they? I can't really think of many instances where I, I've heard of clone troopers sort of surrendering. Because, if you think about it, they're trained to sort of, you know, fight for the Republic. They're very brave, so surrendering never really thinks of... To them, is like an easy way out. It's not that way for them because they're so... They're trained to be so brave and courageous, so... The only reason I feel like they'd ever surrender is if it was a tactical decision to, you know, keep lives alive, and um, perhaps they'd manage to get through it. Because I think the battle droids rarely took prisoners. I think, unless it was like high-ranking people, they tended to kind of kill the clones, is, is what I believe um, happened. So, I don't fully know. That's, a, that's actually kind of a good question. But, um... Yeah, I mean, that, that's what's kind of nice about the clones, is they never really surrender. They always sort of fight to the last man. We see a lot of sort of last stands from clone troopers, and I think that's a result of them always sort of fighting to the last man and never really um, giving in to the enemy fully in situations because they'd rather try their best to make it through. We've got another chain gunner over here. Same sort of chain gun that we see Commander Thorne use in his last stand, actually, coincidentally, speaking about last stands. Um, I don't think he's got a shot really though. I mean, he's got, first of all, this barricade right in front of his gun. Um, and then no one's really over there for him to shoot at, so. He'd be a good, good trooper for if the droids got way, way too close. Alright, so we're still seeing some battle droids within the woods here. Numbers seriously diminished though. They don't have a lot going for them. Actually, a few of them getting nice and close to these LAAT platforms over here. Getting gunned down, though, because they're pretty high-value targets up here. But they're still getting some good shots out. Maybe they'll they'll get a kill or two on these clones. Overall, I'm afraid this droid assault is not going to even pretty much enter the bunker. Though they did actually, from what it looks like, yeah, they killed this entire block of clones here and one clone over here. So they, they definitely... Did some damage to the bunker, but they just didn't have the legs to really get in there. Ooh, this thing's actually firing off now. Get to see this in action a little bit. I think it actually killed the droid out there, so it stopped firing. Mission accomplished for that bad, Larry. Um, yeah, there's definitely still droids, just not a lot of them. And they're, they're definitely taking it a lot easier now, playing it more safe. It's really hard to see the droids when they're in, uh, in the woods like this. They blend in so well, honestly. It's such a mute tone of tan that they can kind of blend into almost any environment. <laughs> yeah, see, secretly it's the best camouflage, I guess. A couple, another droid over here. Looks like they're healing up. They might pop out and try and kill some of these troopers over here who have been defiant to the battle droids. This this side platform over here really caused a lot of trouble during this battle, and uh, and it kept the droids from being able to go up here and flank the clones from the from the top. Maybe if they manage to kill these five clones right now and then flank up here, they'd have such an easy time firing down, but I don't think the AI is going to be capable of doing that. It's, I don't even know if I'd be able to. Those clones have that area on lockdown. They'd need a much larger force um, or some really pro grenades going on. You know, sneak a droid in there and, and grenade the lot of them. That, that'd probably work. 
few droids actually getting very, very close here. First in a long time to really enter into this um, defensive bunker area over here. Using these speeders as cover, working on infiltrating. And uh, fire commences once more. And the droids are again getting suppressed by clones from inside the bunker this time around. Um, in fact, we even have a chain gunner in the bunker firing away, which is kind of funny. Oh, these walls might not work because I just saw them actually take some heat from the droids, so that's kind of interesting right there. And it uh, does seem like the droids who made it very, very far forward were cut down. I see one left. That's not much, though. And uh, the rest's back in the woods again. Back in the bayou. Welcome to the jungle. Wait, I don't want to get copyright striked. <laughs> All right, let's sort of edge these droids who are straggling in the way back a bit more forward because they're not really coming forward at all. We'll send this guy up there. Um, and the rest of these guys seem to be doing their, their thing, actually moving forward right now. So we'll let the remainder of the battle play out. This guy came a little too far forward and got chopped down right quick there. Another droid falling in the jungle. Um, it's, too, it's hard to see where the droids are. I'm trying to look at the laser fire. There's one right there behind this palm tree. He's taking some heat. Is there still one alive over here? No, he died. How many droids we got? Oh, wait, there is still one over here. Where is he? What the heck? Am I just blind? Oh, he's behind this thing. I see. <laughs> I was confused because the minimap said there was one here, and I was like, oh, I don't see one. All right. Really not a lot of droids left. We'll let, we'll let them come forward. It looks like they are making advancements, which is good to see. So we'll just let them come. This guy's firing off a little bit. He's taking a lot of heat, though. He dies. That clanker was thrashed. This clanker up here is still alive. Actually, he's the last one. All right, should we try and Rambo him? It's kind of become a tradition to try and Rambo the last remaining droid. Um... In just sort of, oh, no, uh, get down the hill a little bit. In just sort of a futile attempt to to do something. I mean, look at the mini-map. There's probably 20 clones left alive. I don't think we'll, we'll really get this, but we could try. All right, let's toss a grenade out here. Kill these five. By the way, the, wait, first. For, oh, no, 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 drop down, drop down, drop down. Oh, that stupid droid. He did get the grenade off, though. Hey, he got one of them. All right. Oh, he's still alive. He's just unconscious. The unconscious trooper got one kill. This guy got one kill. This guy got 15. This guy got one. This guy got eight. So these guys up here, they did pretty well. I mean, come on. This guy down here got none. This guy got none. None. <laughs> 11. That, did, that guy did well. None. Um, none. 18. That's, that's good. 15 right there. Those are all DC-15A troopers, so they had longer range rifles, which is probably why they did well. This guy with the um, the machine gun actually got five, which is impressive. This guy got three. This guy got 17. That's impressive. This guy got one. This guy got 13. None. None. One. None. Two. So, I mean, overall, pretty much all the clones pulled their weight pretty nicely. How about the guys in the bunker? This guy got one kill. This guy got five. This guy got none. None. Six. That's pretty good. Um, none. None. How about Captain Locke? None. 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 <laughs> none. 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 Oh, this guy got three, actually, the chain gunner. This guy got none. 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 All right, guys. Well, let me know if you want me to do a trilogy out of this, because it actually could be pretty interesting. It's a bigger map. I, I deleted a lot of the stuff over here just to make it less laggy over here, but we could definitely do this as a um, as a larger scale um, trilogy. So let me know if you want to see that. By the way, here's the losses. Actually, right off the bat, the droids did lose quite a few, but the clones lost more. Um, and then this is the woods where, the, as you can see, the droids really took heavy losses. The clones took heavy losses too throughout this battle. They don't have that many troopers left alive, so the droids did a pretty number against them. Uh, so let me know. Do you want to see a trilogy out of this? Thank you so much for watching. Come here and subscribe if you didn't enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.